Hello and welcome to the world of Android and today I have a very special video for you guys. Today we're going to be unboxing the brand new HTC One M9. So for this one, I had ordered myself a gunmetal gray edition, um, which is right here, the gunmetal gray. I have the 32 gigabyte edition, and from pretty much it's sealed all the way around. And on the back, you can see all the specs right here, which you would expect. Um, they also have say on here that the this box right here is has been made from recycled material which is good it also comes with uh oh protection which is nice so let's crack this bad boy open so getting the first little bit not trying to uh, ruin the box I, know, I like to, to keep the boxes Oh, there we go. That works. And then, from the first thing you see, you have a little bump. You can even hear it too. Just a little stub that they put on onto the box. And it says important and all that stuff. We don't need to worry about that. Okay, and now it is time for us to actually open the box for the very first time. If I can even get the box to open. There it goes. Wait, did I get Yes, I did. Both sides. Come on. Alright, and then from when we're opening it up, it gives you, tells you about the uh, O protection. You get a free phone for the first 12 months, cracked screen, water damage, or you can get up to a $100 reward. They only do it one time, so it can't, it can't like you constantly always get a new phone every time you damage it. They only replace it one time. Um, on here, it tells you where everything is at. You get your front facing camera in the front, you get your SD, your volume, your power, which is down on the side instead of the top. You have your nano sim and then your charging port and your headphones are on the bottom. So we're gonna take the phone out. Comes with a nice little everything else on it. And crack open this bad boy. Comes with your little stickers, your sim card remover, your welcome packet, which anybody can read it. Terms of service, warranty, all the stuff that nobody really reads. T-Mobile SIM card if you didn't have one, and a HTC sticker, which is nice. And on this side, you get your standard micro charging cable, which is USB, and then you get your uh, USB charger to wall. Nothing else spectacular about that. So, just close that back up, and then the, this is what we all come for right here. Just try to get it out of the, oh, well, it doesn't want to slide out. Well, fine. If I can find out how to take this apart. Okay, which way does it go? There's the instructions on the back just pretty much tell you still where everything is at, how to take everything out, and whatnot. And then, after you take this nice glossy stuff off, you get your HTC M9. Now remember, you have a 4 uh, megapixel camera in the front, and you also have your 20 megapixel camera in the back. And it comes with a dual LED, just your sticker for what it is. You get your 
charging port down here, your headphones down here, your power button, volume button, SD card slots right here, and then your SIM card is on the other side. Then this whole entire bar right here is your IR port, which not too many people use, but if you want to be fancy, you can use it for your television, just, you know, tap for the television to tell it what station to go to. I've actually used my M7 for that for a little while. So, for the first time, to boot it up, if I can remember where the actual power button is, comes up just HTC, Android, which is pretty much the same thing how my uh, M7 starts up. Then it comes with T-Mobile to let you know it's from T-Mobile. Uh, after this uh, unboxing, I will most likely be doing a review for it, and then as soon as it becomes available, the phone will be rooted, put with the stock ROM, so I won't be actually using the same stock software on it any longer. I'm more of a, how do you say, root type person. If it can be root, it will be rooted. <laughs> Now just doing all the update, upgrading for the first time. Most most times when you update your software, it goes through this process to make sure everything is up to date with the software and the apps, so they're all compatible, working, configured correctly. Now remember, this is running Lollipop. I also have Lollipop as a custom ROM on my M7. So I can com pretty much compare and contrast from each one. And then putting the HTC M7, which is the first generation, you can see pretty much the same thing. The only difference between the M7, the first gen, and the M9 is it doesn't have the capacitive buttons right here. Um, it doesn't have the little um, indicator right here for when it's up to your ear. And the camera, you can tell, is a little bit bigger. But they both still have the grill speakers. Both of the charging ports, except for this one's on this side, and this one's kind of somewhat in the middle, due to the fact that they have a headphone jack on the bottom now. The phone is now rebooting. Saying it's preparing for the SIM, but I don't have a SIM card in there yet, because I'm going to be taking this one out of here and putting it in there. Um, agree. Yes, and then United States English, start, next, we'll just skip this part, tap to go, we'll just skip, and it's going to take a second, it's going to configure everything, make sure everything's all good. Saying that it can't sign into the server, try again later, just hit next. next and then it goes through the uh oh protection so you it'll probably pretty much go over the same stuff that's right here on this thing ask if you want to sign in with one of them i'll use my google account still saying you can't sign in so that's fine Let's see if we can just exit out of this with the home button back next Oh, sign in later. There you go. Then skip this for now, because we'll be doing the process later. It takes too long to transfer everything between the two. Then it lets you know what do you want to name it. I'm going to just leave it the HTC M9. Same. Personalized home screen. How about we just check both of them? Uh, don't want this is for the T-Mobile. We don't really want the diagnostic. It just uses too much and stuff. So right from the start, this is your home screen. Comes with your home screen at widgets. Your blink feed to your left, and then you just get one extra screen, just like the other one. From you can t tell from everything right here. You still swipe up and down. You still have your rearrange 
grid and everything. It also still has the App Store button right there. Uh, so it'll say give it a second, but we're not. It still doesn't have connectivity right now. So you have your swipe down, swipe down again to get your quick tools. Pretty much everything is the same. You can hit this button to rearrange everything. And go to your settings right here. Pretty much everything looks the same from right now. No extra customization looks like HTC Connect, whatever that could be. And then we're going to compare to this is the um, Lollipop version on the, the M7. Basically, you swipe up, you can swipe down, swipe down again for the quick tools. Still have your home screen, still have your app button pretty much the same, just like that. Both have the app store button right up on top. Both of them have the arrange button and whatnot. Well, except for the arrange apps. I am actually running a custom ROM on this one, so it's not going to be the same. You can rearrange right here instead of custom we'll just do alphabetical so it'll look a little bit different these are bloatware if you guys don't know what bloatware is basically it's what comes on the phone itself when you buy when you first get it so like if I try to go with this long press it and try to uninstall there's no uninstall that's the reason whole reason why I personally like custom ROMs and rooting because then I can just delete that because I don't use it don't need it whatever so this has been the unboxing for the HTC M9 I hope you guys enjoy it and subscribe like and comment if you want um, the next video you guys will be seeing me in will be the compare and contrast of this M7 to this M9.